Ugh. All right. Trashy spot, so I think I can cover this. I didn't prepare any sketch, so this is gonna be freestyle. I hope it's gonna look good. We'll see. So, because I didn't prepare anything, I think this sketch is gonna take a little bit longer than usual. I was thinking about putting something, something here, but this thing is in the way. Okay, it's time to fill them up. No. doesn't seem to work this time. Uh, it's completely filled up with paint. Hey. So, if you have a can like this, that fills up your cap with thick, stucky paint, you're gonna need like four, maybe five caps to unclog them. And I only brought six of these caps, so... Ah, there it is. Come on. And we got it working. So the, all the cans that I brought for this piece are all used cans and I was putting all my used cans next to each other and then this color, schemes came, color scheme came out of there. I would never have picked it myself. But because these colors were standing next to each other and it looked pretty fresh, I was like, yeah, let's do it. A little bit higher. some people upstairs and on to the next color. Hmm. Seems to look like this cap is not working that good anymore. I don't speak French man. Do you speak English? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm from the Netherlands, Holland, Le Peba. Yeah, you as well, thank you. So I'm gonna definitely gonna put this in the video. <laughs> Almost it sounds like these kids are trashing this building. 
Not as if you can thresh anything more, but yeah. Yes. What do you have? Uh, no, I still need them. Not empty yet, so. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> So the kids just asked me for a spray can. I'm not gonna give them one because although a lot of stuff over here is already trashed, I don't want them to tag around and cross pieces from other people just because they're ignorant. They don't know the rules of graffiti, you know? I could have given them one. Maybe they roll into graffiti thanks to like a spray can like that, but uh, I just don't want them to cross someone else's piece. Sounds like they found a spray can downstairs. But I hope they're all empty. What the hell are these kids doing? Sounds like they want to tear the building down. Okay, that's it for the fill and on to the backgrounds. Ooh, this color is covering surprisingly well. Blue Lagoon. No, I just covered one of the small blocks that I painted next to my own piece. So normally I don't think it's really beautiful when I do the background around the, the complete piece, but there's so much trash over here that I'm doing it to separate the piece from the tags and the crossed out stuff. Okay, this one is done. No, not gonna do it in one. I don't know what it is, but sometimes I've got these days where I'm like, where I'm nailing every single line that I want to do. And sometimes I have the most awful lines you can think of. And so far, I've got the feeling my lines are pretty clean today. So right now I smell fire or some plastic that's burning. I have no idea where it's coming from. Oh, it smells a lot stronger over here. I'm gonna finish this piece and then I'm out of here.
I brought this light blue for a second, so I'm gonna do just a couple of them. And also not against the piece. It's a nice way of, uh, if you don't want to do any cutbacks, just like I am right now. I'm almost done with my piece, but I still can hear the kids destroying stuff. So I guess they need some anger management or something. Yeah, boy, I'm definitely happy with this color combination. So if you're interested in the colors, they're in this description as always.